Tofu, also known as bean curd, is a food prepared by coagulating soy milk and then pressing the resulting curds into soft white blocks. It is a traditional component in East Asian and Southeast Asian cuisines and has been consumed in China for over 2,000 years. Tofu can be soft, firm, or extra firm. It has a subtle flavor and can be used in savory and sweet dishes. It is often seasoned or marinated to suit the dish. Tofu has a low calorie count and relatively large amount of protein. It is high in iron, and can have a high calcium or magnesium content, depending on the coagulants used in manufacturing e.g. calcium chloride, calcium sulfate, magnesium sulfate. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The English term, tofu comes from Japanese tofu, dofu borrowed from the original Chinese equivalent dofu dofu pinyin, literally, bean, dou plus, curdled, or fermented. Fu a reference to the word tofu exists in a letter dated 1770 from the English merchant James Flint to American statesman and scientist Benjamin Franklin. This is believed to be the first documented use of the word in English, the term, bean curds. For tofu has been used in the United States since at least 1840. It is rarely used outside of the United Kingdom, Australia and New Zealand. History Tofu making was first recorded during the Chinese Han Dynasty some 2,000 years ago. Chinese legend describes its invention to Prince Luan 179-122 BC. Tofu and its production technique were introduced to Japan during the Nara period 710-794. Some scholars believe tofu arrived in Vietnam during the 10th and 11th centuries. It spread to other parts of Southeast Asia as well. This probably coincided with the spread of Buddhism as it is an important source of protein in the vegetarian diet of East Asian Buddhism. Li Shijun, during the Ming Dynasty, described a method of making tofu in the Compendium of Materia Medica. Since then, tofu has become a staple in many countries, including Vietnam, Thailand, and Korea, with regional variations in production methods, texture, flavor, and usage. Topic. Theories of origin The most commonly held of the three theories of tofu's origin maintains that tofu was discovered by Lord Luan, a Han dynasty prince. While plausible, the paucity of reliable sources for this period makes this difficult to conclusively determine. In Chinese history, important inventions were frequently attributed to important leaders and figures of the time. In 1960, a stone mural unearthed from an Eastern Han Dynasty tomb provided support for the theory of Han origin of tofu. However, some scholars maintain that tofu during the Han Dynasty was rudimentary and lacked the firmness and taste for it to be considered as tofu. Another theory suggests that the production method for tofu was discovered accidentally when a slurry of boiled, ground soybeans was mixed with impure sea salt. Such sea salt would probably have contained calcium and magnesium salts, allowing the soy mixture to curdle and produce a tofu-like gel. The last group of theories maintains that the ancient Chinese learned the method for curdling soy milk by emulating the milk curdling techniques of the Mongolians or East Indians. Despite their advanced culture, no technology or knowledge of culturing and processing milk products existed within ancient Chinese society, they did not seek such technology, probably because of the Confucian taboo on fermented dairy products and other so-called barbarian foodstuffs. The primary evidence for this theory is the etymological similarity between the Chinese term for Mongolian fermented milk, rufu, which literally means milk curdled, and the term dufu, beans curdled or tofu. Although intriguing and possible, there is no evidence to substantiate this theory beyond academic speculation. China A form of tofu may have been discovered during the Han Dynasty 220 BC, AD 220, but it did not become a popular food in China until the Song Dynasty .In China, tofu is traditionally used as a food offering when visiting the graves of deceased relatives. It is claimed that the spirits or ghosts have long lost their chins and jaws, so that only tofu is soft enough for them to eat. 
Before refrigeration was available in China, tofu was often only sold during winter, since tofu did not spoil as easily in cold weather. During the warmer months, tofu, once made, spoiled if stored for more than a day. Chinese war hero Guan Yu used to be a tofu maker before he enlisted in the army. Chinese martial arts expert and hero Yim Wing Chun was a celebrated tofu maker in her village. Tofu as such plays a part in a 1994 movie about her life, Wing Chun. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Japan Tofu was introduced to Japan during the Nara period late 8th century by Zen Buddhist monks, who initially called it Chinese curd, Tang Fu Tofu. Much of tofu's early use in Asia was as a vegetarian substitute for meat and fish by Buddhist monks, especially those following Zen Buddhism. The earliest Japanese document concerning tofu refers to the dish being served as an offering at the Kasuga Shrine in Nara in 1183. The book Tofu Hyakuchen Dofu bai jen dofu bai jun, published in the Edo period, lists 100 recipes for cooking tofu. <inaudible> <inaudible> Southeast Asia In Southeast Asia, tofu was introduced to the region by Chinese immigrants from Fujian province, as evidenced by many countries in Southeast Asia referring to tofu using the Min Nan Chinese pronunciations for either soft and firm tofu, or Tao Hu and Tao Gon, respectively. In Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Cambodia, Myanmar and the Philippines, tofu is widely available and used in many local dishes. Tofu is called tahu in Indonesia, and Indonesian dishes such as tahu sumbat, tauga tahu, asinan, somai and some curries, often add slices of tofu. Tahu goreng, tahu isi and tahu sumadong are popular fried tofu snacks. Tofu is called tauhu in Malaysia and Singapore. Malaysian and Singaporean Indians use tofu in their cuisine, such as in Indian mee goreng, and rajak pasambor. Peranakan cuisine often uses tofu, as in Penang curry noodles and laksa. Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia and the Philippines are major producers of tofu and have plants in many municipalities. Tofu in the Philippines is an essential in the daily diet, as taho. It is widely eaten as breakfast, or tokwa a dry, fried variation, which is a staple alternative to meat in main meals and in numerous regional dishes. Tofu was introduced to the archipelago in the 10th to 13th centuries by Song Dynasty Chinese mariners and merchants, along with many other foods that became staples of the Philippine diet. The use and production of tofu were first limited to urban centers with influential Chinese minorities, such as Cebu or Tondo, but quickly spread to even remote native villages and islands. Outside Asia. Benjamin Franklin was the first American to mention tofu, in a 1770 letter to John Bartram. Franklin, who encountered it during a trip to London, included a few soybeans and referred to it as cheese from China. In 1770 Franklin also corresponded with James Flint on the subject of how the Chinese converted calavances soybeans into tofu. This is believed to be the first use of the word tofu in the English language. The first tofu company in the United States was established in 1878. In 1908 Li Yuying, a Chinese anarchist and a vegetarian with a French degree in agriculture and biology, opened a soy factory, the Usine de la Caseo Sojane. This was the world's first soy dairy and the first factory in France to manufacture and sell bean curd. However, tofu was not well known to most Westerners before the middle of the 20th century. With increased cultural contact between the West and East Asia and growing interest in vegetarianism, knowledge of tofu has become widespread. Numerous types of pre-flavored tofu can be found in supermarket chains throughout the West. It is also used by many vegans and vegetarians as a source of protein. Production Regardless of the product or scale of the production, the production of tofu essentially consists of the preparation of soy milk, the coagulation of the soy milk to form curds, 
The pressing of the soybean curds to form tofu cakes, it is similar to the production of dairy cheese by coagulating the milk of dairy animals to form curds and pressing and aging the curds to form cheese. Typical tofu making procedures are cleaning, soaking, grinding beans in water, filtering, boiling, coagulation, and pressing. Coagulation of the protein and oil emulsion suspended in the boiled soy milk is the most important step in the production of tofu. This process is accomplished with the aid of coagulants. Coagulation of the soy milk is the most important step in tofu making process but is complicated as the process depends on complex interactions. There are many variables including the variety and percentage of protein in the soybeans used, slurry cooking temperature, coagulation temperature, and other factors. Two types of coagulants, salts and acids, are used commercially. Topic: <laughs> Salt coagulants. Calcium sulfate gypsum, the traditional and most widely used coagulant to produce Chinese-style tofu, it produces a tofu that is tender but slightly brittle in texture. The coagulant itself is tasteless. Also known as gypsum, calcium sulfate is quarried from geological deposits and no chemical processing or refining is needed, making it the cheapest coagulant used in tofu production. When used in production, the coagulation reaction is slower due to its low solubility, forming a smooth, more gelatinous tofu with relatively high water content and soft texture. Use of this coagulant also makes a tofu that is rich in calcium. As such, many tofu manufacturers choose to use this coagulant to be able to market their tofu as a good source of dietary calcium. Chloride type nigari salts or lushui, traditional, lu shui lu shui simplified, lu shui lushui, magnesium chloride and calcium chloride. Both of these salts are highly soluble in water and affect soy protein in the same way, whereas gypsum is only very slightly soluble in water and acts differently in soy protein precipitation, the basis of tofu formation. These are the coagulants used to make tofu with a smooth and tender texture. In Japan, a white powder called nigari, which consists primarily of magnesium chloride, is produced from seawater after the sodium chloride is removed and the water evaporated. Depending on its production method, nigari, lushui may also contain small quantities of magnesium sulfate epsom salt, potassium chloride, calcium chloride, and trace amounts of other naturally occurring salts. Although the term nigari is derived from nigai, the Japanese word for bitter, Neither nigari nor pure magnesium chloride imparts a perceivable taste to the finished tofu. Calcium chloride is not found in seawater in significant quantities, and therefore is not regarded as nigari. It is used extensively in the United States due to its flavor and low cost. Fresh clean seawater itself can also be used as a coagulant. <laughs> Acid coagulants. Gluconodelta-lactone (GDL), a naturally occurring organic acid also used in cheese making. This coagulant produces a very fine textured tofu that is almost jelly-like. It is used especially for silken and softer tofus and confers a faint sour taste to the finished product. It is commonly used together with calcium sulfate to give soft tofu a smooth tender texture. Other edible acids, though they can affect the taste of the tofu more, and vary in density and texture, acids such as acetic acid vinegar and citric acid such as lemon juice, can also be used to coagulate soy milk and produce tofu. <laughs> Enzyme coagulants Among enzymes that have been shown to produce tofu are papain, and alkaline and neutral proteases from microorganisms. Papain, moreover, has been studied as a gelling agent to produce instant tofu from soy protein isolate and soy glycinin 11S protein. Contemporary tofu manufacturers may choose to use one or more of these coagulants, since each plays a role in producing a desired texture in the finished tofu. Different textures result from different pore sizes and other microscopic features in the tofu produced using each coagulant. The coagulant mixture is dissolved in water, and the solution is then stirred into boiled soy milk until the mixture curdles into a soft gel. Coagulants are typically added at concentrations between 1.5 and 5.0 grams per kilogram. 
In all coagulants consisting of calcium or magnesium salts, the positive double bonded ions of the calcium or magnesium are responsible for the coagulation of the soy proteins which become part of the tofu, thereby enhancing its nutritional value. Only one part per 1000 of the tofu eaten is coagulant, most of the coagulant reacts with soy protein and is broken down into ions. The non reactive portion dissolves in the whey and is discarded. The curds are processed differently depending on the form of tofu that is being manufactured. For soft silken tofu, nen dofu nen dofu or tofu pudding, do wa duha or dofu wa dofu hua, the soy milk is curdled directly in the tofu's final packaging. For standard firm Asian tofu, the soy curd is cut and strained of excess liquid using cheese cloth or muslin and then lightly pressed to produce a soft cake. Firmer tofus, such as Asian dry tofu dogon or western types of tofu, are further pressed to remove even more liquid. In Vietnam, the curd is strained and molded in a square mold, and the end product is called do cone molded bean or do fu one of the Vietnamese ways to pronounce the Chinese dofu. The tofu curds are allowed to cool and become firm. The finished tofu can then be cut into pieces, flavored or further processed. Although tartness is sometimes desired in dessert tofu, the acid used in flavoring is usually not the primary coagulant, since concentrations sufficiently high to induce coagulation negatively affect the flavor or texture of the resulting tofu. A sour taste in tofu and a slight cloudiness in its storing liquid is also usually an indication of bacterial growth and, hence, spoilage. Topic. Color The whiteness of tofu is ultimately determined by the soybean variety, soybean protein composition and degree of aggregation of the tofu gel network. The yellowish-beige color of soybeans is due to the color compounds including anthocyanin, isoflavins and polyphenol compounds, therefore the soybean variety used will predicate the color of the final tofu product. Ways to reduce the yellow color include reducing isoflavone content by changing the pH of the soymilk solution used in the production of the tofu so that the relevant compounds precipitate out and are removed during the extraction of okara. The opacity of tofu gel and the off-white color typical of standard uncooked firm tofu is due to the scattering of light by the colloidal particles of the tofu. The addition of higher levels of calcium salts or a high protein content will contribute to forming a denser and more aggregated gel network which disperses more light, resulting in a tofu with a wider appearance. Flavor Tofu flavor is generally described as bland, which is the taste desired by customers in North America. A more beany flavor is preferred in East Asia. The beany or bland taste is generated during the grinding and cooking process, and either a hot grind or a cold grind can be used to influence the taste. The hot grind method reduces the beany flavor by inactivating the lipoxygenase enzyme in the soy protein that is known to generate off flavors. Eliminating these off flavors makes a tofu that is bland. If a cold grind is used lipoxygenase remains and produces the aldehyde, alcohol and ester volatile compounds that create beanie notes. Varieties A wide variety of types and flavors of tofu is available in both western and eastern markets. Despite the range of options, tofu products can be split into two main categories, fresh tofu, which is produced directly from soy milk, and processed tofu, which is produced from fresh tofu. Tofu production also creates important by-products that are used in various cuisines. <laughs> fresh tofu Depending on the amount of water that is extracted from the tofu curds, fresh tofu can be divided into four main varieties, extra soft, soft or silken, firm, and extra firm. Fresh tofu is usually sold completely immersed in water to maintain its moisture content and freshness, and to retard bacterial growth. <laughs> extra soft Extra soft tofu is called sun dubu, sun dubu mild tofu. in Korean. Soy milk is mixed with seawater, or saline water made with sea salt, so that it curdles. The curds remain loose and soft. 
Freshly made sundubu is eaten boiled with little or no seasoning. Manufactured sundubu is usually sold in tubes. It is also the main ingredient in sundubu jigae, sundubu jigae soft tofu stew. Although the word sun in sun dubu doesn't have a Sino Korean origin, sun dubu is often translated into Chinese and Japanese using the Chinese character chun, whose Korean pronunciation is sun and the meaning is pure. Thus in China, sun dubu is called chun dufu, chun dofu, pure tofu, and in Japan, it is called jun tofu, chun dofu or sun dubu. In China, extra soft tofu called duha, do fa, Cantonese, tao wa, Fujianese. Do tofu flour is frequently served at breakfast or for dessert. It is usually served either with a sweet ginger syrup, or a mushroom gravy called da lu. Da lu. It's normally coagulated at the restaurant into a serving container. Many home cooks coagulate it with agar. Topic. Soft Soft tofu, also known as silken tofu is called nen dufu, nen dofu, soft tofu, or wa dufu, wa dofu, smooth tofu. In Chinese, kinugashi tofu, wan lu shi dofu, silk filtered tofu. In Japanese, and yian dubu, yian dubu ruan dofu, soft tofu. In Korean, it is undrained, unpressed tofu that contains a high moisture content. Silken tofu is produced by coagulating soy milk without curdling it. Silken tofu is available in several consistencies, including soft and firm, but all silken tofu is more delicate than regular firm tofu, pressed tofu and it has different culinary uses. In Japan and Korea, traditional soft tofu is made with seawater. Silken tofu is used as a substitute for dairy products and eggs, especially for smoothies and baked desserts. Duha, do wa duha or dofu wa, dofu hua in Chinese, or tofu brain, dofu now or dofu now, dofu now in Chinese is often eaten as a dessert, but sometimes salty pickles or hot sauce are added. This is a type of soft tofu with a very high moisture content. Because it is difficult to pick up with chopsticks, it is generally eaten with a spoon. With the addition of flavorings such as finely chopped spring onions, dried shrimp, soy sauce or chili sauce, duha is a popular breakfast dish across China. In Malaysia, duha is usually served warm with white or dark palm sugar syrup, or served cold with longans. Some variation exists among soft tofus. Black duha, hei do wa hai duha, is a type of silken tofu made from black soybeans, which is usually made into duha do wa rather than firm or dry tofu. The texture of black bean tofu is slightly more gelatinous than regular duha and the color is grayish in tone. This type of tofu is eaten for its earthy, black bean taste. Edamame tofu is a Japanese variety of kinugashi tofu made from edamame fresh green soybeans. It is pale green in color and often studded with whole edamame. Topic. Firm. Firm tofu, called lao dofu lao dofu in Chinese, mu mian dofu momen dofu in Japanese, cotton tofu, modubu modubu in Korean. Although drained and pressed, this form of fresh tofu retains a high moisture content. It has the firmness of raw meat and bounces back readily when pressed. The texture of the inside of the tofu is similar to that of a firm custard. The skin of this form of tofu retains the pattern of the muslin used to drain it and the outside is slightly more resistant to damage than the inside. It can be picked up easily with chopsticks. A very firm type of momen tofu is eaten in parts of Japan, called ishi tofu, shi tofu, stone tofu, in parts of Ishikawa, or Iwa tofu, yan tofu, rock tofu, in Gokuyama in the Toyama prefecture and in Iya in the prefecture of Tokushima. These types of firm tofu are produced with seawater instead of nigari magnesium chloride, or using concentrated soy milk. Some of them are squeezed using heavy weights to eliminate excess moisture. These products are produced in areas where traveling is inconvenient, such as remote islands, mountain villages, and heavy snowfall areas. Topic. Extra firm. Dogon, dogon literally, dry tofu, in Chinese, or suji, suji vegetarian chicken, is an extra firm variety of tofu where a large proportion of the liquid has been pressed out. 
Do Gan contains the least amount of moisture of all fresh tofu and has the firmness of fully cooked meat and a somewhat rubbery feel similar to that of paneer. When sliced thinly this tofu can be crumbled easily. The skin of this form of tofu has the pattern of the muslin used to drain and press it. Western firm tofu is milled and reformed after pressing. Suji is a more common type of unflavored, extra firm tofu. It cannot be crumbled and has a more rubbery texture. One variety of dried tofu is pressed especially flat and sliced into long strings with a cross section smaller than 2 mm times 2 mm. Shredded dried tofu, do gan si du gan si in Chinese, or simply gan si, gan si, which looks like loose cooked noodles, can be served cold, stir fried, or added to soup, as with Japanese abarage. Topic: <laughs> Processed tofu. Many forms of processed tofu exist. Some processing techniques probably originate before the days of refrigeration from the need to preserve tofu, or to increase its shelf life. Other production techniques are employed to create tofus with different textures and flavors. <laughs> Fermented Pickled tofu, dofu ru in Chinese, pinyin, dufuru, or fu ru furu, chow in Vietnamese, also called preserved tofu, or fermented tofu, consists of cubes of dried tofu that have been allowed to fully air dry under hay and slowly ferment with the help of aerial bacteria. The dry fermented tofu is then soaked in salt water, Chinese wine, vinegar or minced chilies, or in a mixture of whole rice, bean paste, and soybeans. In the case of red pickled tofu, hong do fu ru in Chinese, pinyin, hong du furu, red yeast rice cultivated with Manascus purpureus is added for color. In Japan, pickled tofu with miso paste is called tofu no masadzuk, and is a traditional preserved food in Kumamoto. In Okinawa, pickled and fermented tofu is called tofuyo, dofu ga, it is made from shima dofu, an Okinawan variety of large and firm tofu. It is fermented and matured with koji mold, red koji mold, and awamori. Stinky tofu cho do fu in Chinese, pinyin, cho do fu, is a soft tofu that has been fermented in a vegetable and fish brine. The blocks of tofu have a pungent cheese smell, sometimes resembling rotting food. Despite its strong odor, the flavor and texture of stinky tofu is appreciated by aficionados, who describe it as delightful. The texture of this tofu is similar to the soft Asian tofu from which it is made. The rind that stinky tofu develops when fried is said to be best when especially crisp, and fried stinky tofu is usually served with soy sauce, sweet sauce or hot sauce. Topic: <laughs> Frozen. Thousand layer tofu, qian yi do fu qian ye du fu, literally thousand layer tofu or dong do fu dong do fu bing do fu bing do fu in chinese both meaning frozen tofu is a frozen tofu the ice crystals that develop within it result in the formation of large cavities that appear to be layered frozen tofu takes on a yellowish hue in the freezing process thousand layer tofu originates from the jiangnan region of china and is commonly made at home from soft tofu it is also commercially sold as a specialty in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and other areas with Jiangnan emigrants. It is regularly paired with tatsoi as a winter dish. Frozen tofu is defrosted before serving and sometimes pressed to remove moisture prior to use. During freezing, the ice crystals puncture cell walls and facilitate the release of free and bound water and cause a decrease in total water content in tofu after freezing then thawing. The initial protein water bonds are irreversibly replaced by protein protein bonds, which are more elastic, which cause a structural change to the gel network and lead to an increase in textural properties such as hardness, springiness, cohesiveness, and gumminess. Two kinds of freeze dried tofu are produced in Japan. They are usually rehydrated by being soaked in water prior to consumption. In their dehydrated state, they do not require refrigeration. Koya tofu also known as shimadofu is made using nigari. Kori tofu literally frozen tofu is freeze dried. Koya dofu, koya dofu, gaoyi dofu in Japanese is a freeze dried tofu from Mount Koya, a center of Japanese Buddhism famed for its shojin ryori or traditional Buddhist vegetarian cuisine. 
It is said that the method of Koya Dofu was discovered by accident by leaving tofu outdoors in the winter season. It is sold in freeze-dried blocks or cubes in Japanese markets. It is typically simmered in dashi, sake or mirin and soy sauce. In shojin ryori, vegetarian kombu dashi, made from seaweed, is used. When prepared in the usual manner, it has a spongy texture and a mildly sweet or savory flavor. The taste and flavor depend on what soup or cooking stock it was simmered in. A similar form of freeze-dried tofu, in smaller pieces, is found in instant soups such as miso soup, in which the toppings are freeze-dried and stored in sealed pouches. By-products Tofu skin Tofu skin is produced when soy milk is boiled in an open, shallow pan, thus producing a film or skin composed primarily of a soy protein lipid complex on the liquid surface. The films are collected and dried into yellowish sheets known as soy milk skin. Fu pai fupi in Chinese, tang yi yuba in Japanese. Its approximate composition is 50 to 55 percent protein, 24 to 26 percent lipids, fat, 12 percent carbohydrate, 3 percent ash, and 9 percent moisture. The skin can also be dried into a product known as tofu bamboo. Fu zu fu zu in Chinese, fu truck in Vietnamese, kusatake, Japanese, or into many other shapes. Since tofu skin has a soft yet rubbery texture, it can be folded or shaped into different forms and cooked further to imitate meat in vegan cuisine. Some factories dedicate their production to tofu skin and other soy membrane products. Tofu skin is commonly sold in the form of dried leaves or sheets. <laughs> soy pulp Okara from the Japanese, Okara Okara, known as Shui Wa Kai, Shui Huasai, in Chinese, lit. Snowflake Vegetable. Dofu Za Dufuja, also Chinese, lit. Tofu Sediment, Residue. And Kongbiji, Kongbiji, in Korean, is a tofu byproduct sometimes known in the West as soy pulp, or tofu lees, consisting of the fiber, protein, and starch left over when soy milk has been extracted from ground-soaked soybeans. It is mainly used as animal feed in most tofu producing cultures, but is sometimes used in Japanese and Korean cuisines, such as in the Korean stew kongbiji jjigae. It is also an ingredient for vegetarian burgers in many Western nations. Tofu like foods The term tofu is used by extension for similarly textured curdled dishes that do not use soy products, such as almond tofu, almond jelly, tamago tofu, egg, goma tofu, sesame, or peanut tofu. Chinese luo wa sheng tofu, lohuasheng tofu, and Okinawan jimami tofu. Due to their Asian origins and their textures, many food items are called tofu, even though their production processes are not technically similar. For instance, many sweet almond tofus are actually gelatinous desserts hardened using agar or gelatin. Some foods, such as Burmese tofu, are not coagulated from the milk of the legume but rather set in a manner similar to soft polenta, Korean muk, or the jadu liangfun of Yunnan province of southwest China. <laughs> almond tofu Almond tofu, Chinese xing ren tofu, xing ren dofu, Japanese anin tofu, is a milky white and gelatinous substance resembling tofu, but it does not use soy products or soy milk and is hardened with agar. A similar dessert made with coconut milk or mango juices may occasionally be referred to as coconut tofu or mango tofu, although such names are also given to hot dishes that use soy tofu and coconut or mango in the recipe. Chickpea tofu Burmese tofu to HPU in Burmese is a legume product made from besan chana dal flour, the Shan variety uses yellow split pea flour instead. Both types are yellow in color and generally found only in Myanmar, though the Burman variety is also available in some overseas restaurants serving Burmese cuisine. 
Burmese tofu may be fried as fritters cut into rectangular or triangular shapes. A variety called HSAN to HPU or HSAN to HPO in Shan regions is made from rice flour called HSAN mont or mont mont and is white in color with the same consistency as yellow Burmese tofu when set. It is eaten as a salad in the same manner as yellow tofu. Topic: <laughs> Egg tofu Egg tofu Japanese, yu zi do fu luan do fu tamago do fu Chinese, dan do fu dan do fu, often called ri ben do fu, ribbon do fu, lit. Japan bean curd, is the main type of savory flavored tofu. Whole beaten eggs are combined with dashi, poured into molds, and cooked in a steamer cf. This tofu has a pale golden color that can be attributed to the addition of eggs and, occasionally, food coloring. This tofu has a fuller texture and flavor than silken tofu, due to the presence of egg fat and proteins. Plain, dried tofu, can be flavored by stewing in soy sauce loo to make soy sauce tofu. It is common to see tofu sold from hot food stalls in this soy sauce stewed form. Today egg, Japanese, tofu is made of eggs, water, vegetable protein, and seasoning. Egg tofu was invented in Japan during the Edo period. The book Wan Bao Liao Li Mi Mi Shang written in 1785 recorded how to make Japanese tofu. Later the Japanese form of tofu entered Southeast Asia, being introduced to China in 1995 from Malaysia. At first, egg tofu was only provided in upscale restaurants. As time went by, more Chinese could afford Japanese tofu, and it became a common dish. 100 grams of egg tofu has 17 mg calcium, 24 mg magnesium, and 5 mg protein while 100 grams tofu has 138 mg calcium, 63 mg magnesium and 12.2 mg protein. Compared with tofu, Japanese tofu's nutritional value is lower. Tofu dishes common in Japan include three delicacies: San Xian Japanese tofu, shrimp Japanese tofu, Japanese tofu in ketchup, tapanyaki Japanese tofu, and Japanese fish flavored tofu. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Peanut tofu. In Okinawa, Japan, jimami dofu a peanut milk, made by crushing raw peanuts, adding water and straining, is combined with starch usually sweet potato, known locally as umakuji or umakashi you die in fen and heated until curdling occurs. The Chinese equivalent is lua wa sheng dofu lohua sheng dofu. Sesame tofu The tofu known as goma dofu is made by grinding sesame into a smooth paste, combining it with liquid and kudzu starch, and heating it until curdling occurs. It is often served chilled as hiyayako. Preparation Tofu has very little flavor or smell of its own. Consequently, tofu can be used in both savory or sweet dishes, acting as a bland background for presenting the flavors of the other ingredients used. In order to flavor the tofu it is often marinated in soy sauce, chilies, sesame oil, etc. In Asian cooking, tofu is prepared in many ways, including raw, stewed, stir-fried, in soup, cooked in sauce, or stuffed with fillings. The idea of using tofu as a meat substitute is not common in East Asia. China Many Chinese tofu dishes such as jiachang dofu and mapo dofu include meat. In Chinese cuisine, duha is served with toppings such as boiled peanuts, azuki beans, cooked oatmeal, tapioca, mung beans, or a syrup flavored with ginger or almond. During the summer, duha is served with crushed ice, in the winter, it is served warm. In many parts of China, fresh tofu is eaten with soy sauce or further flavored with katsuobushi shavings, century eggs and sesame seed oil. With the exception of the softest tofus, all forms of tofu can be fried. 
Thin and soft varieties of tofu are deep fried in oil until they are light and airy in their core do pao du pao, do fu pao du fu pao, yu do fu yu du fu, or do bo du bu in Chinese, literally, bean bubble, describing the shape of the fried tofu as a bubble. Depending on the type of tofu used, the texture of deep fried tofu may range from crispy on the outside and custardy on the inside, to puffed up like a plain donut. The former is usually eaten plain in Chinese cuisine with garlic soy sauce, while the latter is either stuffed with fish paste to make yang tao fu or cooked in soups. In Taiwan, fried tofu is made into a dish called a gay, which consists of a fried aburridge tofu package stuffed with noodles and capped with surimi. Tofus such as firm Asian and dogon Chinese dry tofu, with their lower moisture content, are cut into bite-sized cubes or triangles and deep-fried until they develop a golden brown, crispy surface za fu in Chinese, zhidufu, lit. Fried tofu. These may be eaten on their own or with a light sauce, or further cooked in liquids. They are also added to hot pot dishes or included as part of the vegetarian dish called luohan jai. A spicy Sichuan preparation using firm Asian tofu is mapo dofu. Mapo dofu. It involves braised tofu in a beef, chili, and fermented bean paste sauce. A vegetarian version is known as mala dofu. Mala dofu dried tofu is usually not eaten raw but first stewed in a mixture of soy sauce and spices. Some types of dried tofu are pre-seasoned with special blends of spices, so that the tofu may either be called five-spice tofu. Wu Shang Dofu Wu Xiang Dofu or Soy Sauce Stewed Tofu Lu Shui Dofu Lushui Dofu Dried tofu is typically served thinly sliced with chopped green onions or with slices of meat for added flavor. Tofu bamboos are often used in lamb stew or in a dessert soup. Tofu skins are often used as wrappers in dim sum. Freeze dried tofu and frozen tofu are rehydrated and enjoyed in savory soups. These products are often taken along on camping trips since a small bag of them can provide protein for many days. Pickled tofu is commonly used in small amounts together with its soaking liquid to flavor stir-fried or braised vegetable dishes, particularly leafy green vegetables such as water spinach. It is often eaten directly as a condiment with rice or congee. Topic: Indonesia In Indonesia, tofu is called tahu. In Indonesian markets tofu is usually available in two forms, tahu puta or common white firm tofu, and tahu goreng or fried tofu that has developed a brown skin. Tahu yun yi or tahu bandung is yellow tofu colored with turmeric. A common cooking technique in many parts of East and Southeast Asia involves deep frying tofu in vegetable oil, sunflower oil, or canola oil. In Indonesia, it is usually fried in palm oil. Although pre-fried tofu is often sold cold, it is seldom eaten directly and requires additional cooking. Popular Indonesian tofu dishes includes tahu gedro and kupit tahu. Tahu gedro is tahu pong type of hollow fried tofu cut into small pieces, served with a thin, watery dressing made by blending palm sugar, vinegar and sweet soy sauce, garnished with chili pepper, garlic and shallot. Kupit tahu is slices of tofu served with ketupat rice cake, usually in peanut sauce dressing. Slices of tofu usually mixed in gado gado, ketoprak and somai. Basam is a method of cooking tofu originating in central Java. The tofu is boiled in coconut water, mixed with lengkuas galangal, Indonesian bay leaves, coriander, shallot, garlic, tamarind and palm sugar. After the spicy coconut water has completely evaporated, the tofu is fried until it is golden brown. The result is moist but rather firm, sweet and spicy tofu. This cooked tofu variant is commonly known as tahu basam in Indonesian. Tahu basam is commonly prepared along with tempeh and chicken. <laughs> Japan In Japan, a common lunch in the summer months is hiyayako, lang nu silken or firm Asian tofu served with freshly grated ginger, green onions, or katsuobushi shavings with soy sauce. In the winter, tofu is frequently eaten as yudafu, which is simmered in a clay pot in kombu dashi, with vegetables such as Chinese cabbage or green onion. Deep fried tofu is called atsuage huyonggi or namage shengyonggi in Japan. The thinner variety, called abaraj, yuyang gi develops a tofu pouch often used for inari sushi. 
In Japan, cubes of lightly coated and fried tofu topped with a kombu dashi based sauce are called agadashi dofu. Yanggi chu shi do, soft tofu that has been thinly sliced and deep fried, known as aburage in Japan, is commonly blanched, seasoned with soy sauce and mirin, and served in dishes such as kitsun udon. Soft tofu can also be broken up or mashed and mixed with raw ingredients prior to being cooked. For example, Japanese ganmodoki is a mixture of chopped vegetables and mashed tofu. The mixture is bound together with starch and deep fried. Chinese families sometimes make a steamed meatloaf or meatball dish from equal parts of coarsely mashed tofu and ground pork. Japanese miso soup is frequently made with tofu. Topic: <laughs> Korea. Dubu plays an important part in Korean cuisine. Tofu is often pan-fried and served as banchan with a dipping sauce. Cubes of firm tofu can be seasoned with soy sauce, garlic, and other ingredients before pan frying. A dish of tofu cubes simmered with similar spicy seasoning is called dubu joram. Dubu kimchi features blanched tofu served in rectangular slices around the edges of a plate with pan fried kimchi. This is a popular food to accompany alcoholic drinks. Anju. Soft, unpressed sun dubu is used as the main ingredient of sundubu jjigae soft tofu stew, while other soups and stews such as doenjang guk soybean paste soup, doenjang jjigae soybean paste stew, and kimchi jjigae kimchi stew tend to have diced firm tofu in them. As in many other Asian countries, tofu is also enjoyed in a hot pot dish called dubu jongle tofu hot pot. Topic: <laughs> Philippines. In the Philippines, the sweet delicacy taho is made of fresh tofu with brown sugar syrup and sago. The Malaysian and Singaporean version of taho or duha is called tofufa, or taofufa. Warm soft tofu is served in slices created by scooping it from a wooden bucket with a flat spoon in a bowl with either pandan-flavored sugar syrup or palm sugar syrup. Vietnam. In Vietnam, duha, pronounced do hu, is a variety of soft tofu made and carried around in an earthenware jar. It is served by being scooped into a bowl with a very shallow and flat spoon, and it is eaten hot together with either powdered sugar and lime juice or a ginger-flavored syrup. Outside East and Southeast Asia Generally, the firmer styles of tofu are used for kebabs, mock meats, and dishes requiring a consistency that holds together, while the softer styles can be used for desserts, soups, shakes, and sauces. Firm western tofu types can be barbecued, since they hold together on a barbecue grill. These types are usually marinated overnight as the marinade does not easily penetrate the entire block of tofu. Techniques to increase the penetration of marinades include stabbing repeatedly with a fork or freezing and thawing prior to marinating. Grated firm western tofu is sometimes used in conjunction with textured vegetable protein (TVP) as a meat substitute. Softer tofus are sometimes used as a dairy-free or low-calorie filler. Silken tofu may be used to replace cheese in certain dishes, such as lasagna. Tofu has also been fused into other cuisines in the West, for instance in Indian-style curries. Tofu and soy protein can be industrially processed to match the textures and flavors of cheese, pudding, eggs, bacon, and similar products. Tofu's texture can also be altered by freezing, pureeing, and cooking. In the Americas, Europe, Australia and New Zealand, tofu is frequently associated with vegetarianism and veganism, as it is a source of non-animal protein. In India tofu is used as a low-fat replacement for paneer, providing the same texture with a similar taste. Nutrition and health Topic. Protein Tofu is relatively high in protein, about 10.7% for firm tofu and 5.3% for soft, silken, 
Tofu, with about 5% and 2% fat, respectively, as a percentage of weight. In 1995, a report from the University of Kentucky, financed by Sole, concluded that soy protein is correlated with significant decreases in serum cholesterol, low density lipoprotein, LDL, bad cholesterol, and triglyceride concentrations. However, high density lipoprotein HDL good cholesterol did not increase. Soy phytoestrogens isoflavins, genistein and dadesian absorbed onto the soy protein were suggested as the agent reducing serum cholesterol levels. On the basis of this research, PTI, in 1998, filed a petition with the Food and Drug Administration for a health claim that soy protein may reduce cholesterol and the risk of heart disease. The FDA granted this health claim for soy. 25 grams of soy protein a day, as part of a diet low in saturated fat and cholesterol, may reduce the risk of heart disease." For reference, 100 grams of firm tofu coagulated with calcium sulfate contains 8.19 grams of soy protein. In January 2006 an American Heart Association review in the journal Circulation of a decade-long study of soy protein benefits showed only a minimal decrease in cholesterol levels, but it compared favorably against animal protein sources. <laughs> Allergies Because it is made of soy, individuals with allergies to legumes should not consume tofu. Traditional Chinese medicine claims Tofu is considered a cooling agent in traditional Chinese medicine. It is claimed to invigorate the spleen, replenish qi, moisten and cool off yang vacuity, and detoxify the body. However, there is no scientific evidence supporting such claims, nor their implied notions. Functions. In Chinese traditional medicine, tofu is considered suitable for those who are weak, malnourished, deficient in blood and qi, for the elderly, for the slim, for those with high fat content in blood, high cholesterol, overweight, and with hardened blood vessels, for people with diabetes, for mothers with low breast milk supply, for children and young adults, for those with an inflamed respiratory tract, phlegm, bad coughs or asthma. Tofu is also considered suitable for elderly people, it is recommended that it be eaten together with liquor, since tofu contains cysteine, which can speed up the detoxification of alcohol in the body and lessen the harm done to the liver. <laughs> <laughs> Chemistry Tofu is made from soy milk which is a turbid colloidal liquid, solution. Turbid means a cloudy opaque or thick liquid with suspended matter. A colloid solution is a solution in which a material is evenly suspended in a liquid, more specifically, a non-homogeneous mixture, in which one substance of microscopically dispersed insoluble particles is suspended throughout another substance. Tofu structure is related to soy milk components, particularly colloid components such as protein particles and oil globules. Protein particles content increases with the increase of the globulin ratio in the soybeans. Tofu varieties ensue from adding coagulants at various concentrations. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Proteins. The two main components of the soybean important in tofu making are the 11S component, containing glycinin and the 7S subunit, containing hemagglutinins, lipoxygenases, B amylase, and beta-conglycinin. The major soy protein components, in the two fractions that make up 65-85% of the proteins in soybeans, include glycinin and beta-conglycinin. The soybean protein consists of many different subunits which are sensitive to heat, pH and ionic strength and become unevenly distributed among soluble and particulate fractions due to hydrophilic and hydrophobic interaction because of the amino acid composition. Gallery See also <gallery> 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 <gallery>